G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back for episode 4 of the Wasteland Survival. Alright, so in the last episode we basically finished off with the hangar. Uh, let me just turn my lights back on here. And uh, yeah, I started laying out the floor and yeah, basically just getting the hangar sorted out. Um, so in this episode what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the floor um, and then basically I'm going to move all of this gear inside this here hangar and yeah we're gonna continue on with that so the first thing I need to do is kind of lay out this entire floor obviously um, so I'm probably gonna do that um, but I probably won't get you guys to watch the entire process of me laying out this floor because it'll probably take me a while um, and then from there I'm going to move all of that stuff in here um, but I won't actually weld any of this stuff up until I move the large refinery, large assembler and all the other stuff into this hangar. Um, and the reason for that is because the amount of steel plates that I'm going to need um, is going to need to be, you know, just enormous. So they're not going to fit in this um, small cargo container. If we actually have a look at the small cargo container, you can see, you know, I've only got 2,098 steel plates in here and already the thing is full. So, yeah, I'm just not going to be able to store too many steel plates in here. And um, let's just have a look at a blast ore block. So, as you can see, that has, you know, it's probably only enough to build me maybe 15 of those blast ore blocks. So, it's just not going to be enough steel plates to actually make a decent dent on welding up that floor. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll move all this stuff in there, um, I'll move the battery as well or build a couple new ones and then um, what I'm also going to do is put in a large cargo container in there as well um, and that will let me store all the components that I need to then weld up the floor. And I think also in this episode what I'm going to do is build a um, kind of a welding ship and I'm also going to build a welding truck. Um, I do have blueprints for both of those, so I'll probably just end up printing them out with a very simple printer. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys how to do that. Alright, so first what I'll do is I'll start by doing this floor, and then uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec once that's done. Okay guys, so I've spent quite a bit of time laying out this floor. Um, I've also done a few other things like um, I've added these... Um, I guess you would call them support pillars on the side. Um, so I've actually been messing around with this hanger off camera for probably about, it's gotta be at least, uh, I'd say about six hours, something like that. Um, so yeah, there was a couple of, obviously I've done the floor, so I've laid all that out. Um, you can see here we have our blast doors. Um, we also have just our regular light armor blocks here. Um, and then I've created these pillars. Um, I've extended the garage out by about two blocks um, from the wall. I've gotten rid of all the blocks on the side here and I'm just gonna kind of rock the um, garage the way it is. So I know it might be a little bit hard to see but yeah hopefully you get a bit of an idea of how that's looking. Um, the other thing that I've done as well is I've actually lengthened the garage. Um, well, actually, before I talk about that, I'll just talk about the dimensions. So, obviously, as you can see, these pillars are spaced out by, well, they're three blocks wide. Um, and I've just got rows um, on either side of those three blocks. And then in between that, I've got them spaced out by five blocks. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to basically countersink some blocks in here. I might put half blocks in here or I might put interior walls. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do there yet. Um, and then what I'm basically going to do up here is I'm going to create some, um, I'm going to put down some spotlights and that should hopefully shed a bit more light on this situation. Um, as you can see I still have the blueprint for the Nomad uh, projected into the hangar or the garage. Um, also, what I've done is I have moved the battery for that was underneath the refinery here. I've basically moved that over to here. 
um, and I've added another battery so now the batteries are kind of um, protected in this hanger here um, and yeah so that should be pretty good and the last thing that I've done is I've actually as I mentioned just before is I've lengthened the garage by about three blocks um, because when I was creating these support pillars um, it only came up to about this block here so or about this block here so I thought well you know what I'll just extend it that little bit further and um, you know why not and also what I've done as well is I've carved out this back wall here um, so when I did that I kind of created another frame and let me just show you roughly what that frame looks like if we jump in here well I guess you can kind of see it here so basically it was the same as the frame that I had created to dig the hangar in the first place um, except with the one difference being that you can see here that I've laid out blocks all throughout the center as well um, so basically what I did is I went through and I drilled it out on the sides here and then I basically came through this way and then I just followed the X in this direction and as you can see the back wall is nice and flat so if I want to I can just leave the wall the way it is um, because that's pretty much what I wanted to do I didn't want to you know kind of be forced to so let's just turn this off for a second um, I kind of didn't want to be forced to actually you know cover up the entire voxels or the wall with um, blocks I kind of wanted to have the ability to just leave it exposed if I want to um, so yeah I mean I've definitely achieved that um, and then also I've just left this cut out in the center here um, where there's no blocks so what I plan to do with that is maybe put in something like some catwalks so something like that now the only problem is I'm probably gonna have to put them on this side because what I want to put underneath the catwalks is kind of like a conveyor tube and then on there I'll just run a conveyor tube all the way through and then I'll put a connector out here or something for some mining ships you know if I want to do some mining um, yeah so there is that so yeah I think um, I think it's looking pretty good um, so now all I need to do is kind of get started with moving every all of this stuff into there um, now I'm not exactly sure if I so I'm kind of toying with the idea of just like leaving the hangar um, you know and then just kind of creating a room that goes off to the side here and into the mountain and then from there like having another little outpost in the mountain this way or I could put a door at the back here um, and then have all my production gear and um, all my assemblers and you know O2 H2 generators and all that sort of stuff um, in a facility that sits behind the hangar um, I'm just really not sure yet to be honest um, what I do know is that eventually what I want to do is basically create like a, a doorway that goes here and you know has a stairwell that goes all the way up there <coughs> Um, strange oh yeah the weather um, and then basically what I want to do eventually is have like another little um, like a kind of an observation deck up here so that we can see out of the valley and um, yeah I think that would look pretty cool but yeah that's um, that's gonna be pretty far on down the track and then eventually is what I'll do is have like a landing pad here that's big enough for some of my larger ships um, and yes yeah, so I could put it there or I could um, have like kind of a landing pad all the way up the top here I'm just not exactly sure yet and um, yeah so one other thing is you might notice that the weather is now a lot quieter so yes um, one of the mods that I have installed which is the sneaky sounds the quieter tools um, the creator of that mod, which is Splitzy, 
Um, he actually included the weather into that mod, so now the weather isn't absolutely blaring, and you can hear what I'm saying. It is just absolutely awesome, and as you can see, it's absolutely blowing a gale out there. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm really not sure what I want to do with this production gear, or whether I want to bring it in here temporarily, or just like start building a room for all that stuff. Um, I think I might just, you know, move it all in, in here and then we can just kind of go from there. Alright, awesome. So, now I've moved everything into the hangar. Um, so now I think it's time to, um, well, I think what I might do is just turn off this projection because it's kind of getting a little bit annoying and um, making it a little bit hard to concentrate. So, projector out, so I turn that off. I could just place a connector on top of the refinery here, but I think what I'll do instead is maybe just like run some conveyor tubes through the floor and then just place the connector there, um, you know, just so it's kind of centered. So I think I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll be back in a second. Well, I've moved the ship now. Um, and one of the other things that I wanted to do was actually create a large cargo container. So, um, yeah, basically I am trying to do just that, but it seems that I have run out of resources. Um, so this is a perfect opportunity to get this Jerry Reed little thing up and running and uh, go and mine some stuff. So let's jump in our little ship here that I've barely even used. And let's go do some mining. So I think actually before we go ahead and do some said mining, let's just see what I actually need. Um, so how much nickel do I have? I've got no nickel. Um, I've got a fair bit of silicon. I've got a fair bit of iron. Um, so yeah, I'm just probably going to get a whole bunch of iron, a whole bunch of nickel, and a whole bunch of silicon just. As I can, um, but also until I build that large cargo container, I've got to be kind of selective with what I do and don't um, build, you know what I mean? Um, or mine, sorry, because obviously I've only got so much cargo space at the minute, so yeah, if I mine too much, I've got nowhere to actually store it. So I'll just turn off my front facing thrusters here to conserve a little bit of power. Let's turn it back on and slow down. Alright, so if I remember correctly, the nickel is like just a crazy amount of, um, yeah, it's a fair distance under the ground. So now, oh, it's cobalt as well. That's interesting. Alright, so I'm going to try and tilt this downwards and then. Just kind of right click down and make myself kind of a pit. Let's see if I can see any ore now. I should really be able to see it, but oh yeah, there we go. Awesome. Alright. We have finally reached the nickel. Over or something stupid like that. Let's descend a little bit down here into the depths of the mine. Let's turn on the injectors because I don't want any of that pesky stone. Work with me. 
Let's try not to crash and burn. Oh. Spectacular. to turn off my front thrusters and uh, conserve some so close to crashing that just then I, that's unreal. Yes. Luckily I remembered to wear my brown jocks today. Let's do this very gently. Very nice. Okay. Well, that went pretty well considering we almost crashed. Um, and now finally I should be able to build my large cargo container. Alright. So did, yeah, I already had it on the build planner, so I could have just, you know, built that. Alright, so let's build this. Um, then from there I'm probably gonna run a couple more conveyors underneath the floor here. Um, let's grind these ones down. And I think what I'll do is I'll put the assembler up here on the top. Right, well, that's all welded up now, so let's get rid of this conveyor here as well. Um, get rid of this floor plate. Um, I could run them this way, but what I'll do. Crouch down. Just get my jetpack here and get rid of that light on my block. There's a conveyor there. Weld that up. I'll just um, Let's place conveyors here. Normally I would use tubes, but um, considering I don't really have um, I haven't really built a channel for these yet, so I can't really put the tubes there because I wouldn't even be able to weld them up anyway. Alright, so now what I can do is just get rid of this thing. Oh, actually, no. I can't get rid of that thing. Because all my components are in here. So, now let's move everything across to the large cargo container. Uh, put the oars first. Because that's what I like to do. Okay, well, that's all done. Um, let me just double check that this is empty, and it is. Grind that down. Place all of our tools in there. Alright, so I decided to um, move a couple more things around. I just you know, can't make my mind up. <laughs> so I think now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some upgrades to the refinery and all that sort of stuff. Now, so if I go into that menu there, you can see that I have a speed module, a power efficiency module and a yield module. Now I always like to put in a speed module, um, two speed modules and then two yield modules. Uh, the only problem with the yield module is that I need superconductors 
and to get superconductors I need gold so I do have a couple of gold mines out there so I might just um, get a little bit um, the only problem with gold is it's a very tricky thing to mine on planets um, and I'll tell you why so basically when you try and mine gold you get massive amounts of additional stone with it so I find every time I try and mine gold on a planet um, I actually fill up the entire cargo containers you know about 20 times before the ejectors can even get out um, all the stone um, so you know I like fill the entire ship up with stone and gold and then it ejects all the um, waste stone out and then I rinse and repeat that process about 20 times so yeah mining um, if you're going to mine a, a lot of gold on a planet, then I'd probably recommend using a um, kind of a mining rig. Um, that's probably the best way to go if you're trying to do that. So what I'll do is I'll just um, add two of those to the build planner. Um, and I'll mine those. And it looks like I don't have any computers. So let's actually, rather than doing that, let's build six of these. Um, and then let's build a yield module, two of those. And then what I might do is just jump in my little mining ship here. Then we have a speed module. Now the only thing with the speed module is that it actually causes the refinery to use more power. So if we have a look at this, um, it's now requiring 1.12 megawatts. So let's just see how much power we have here. Um, so current input is 500 and something kilowatts and the output is 574 so yeah I think we got plenty of power um, I keep sinking down on these blocks um, alright well I think I might go find some more gold so let's just bring up our GPS and see what kind of gold mines we've got around the place um, I have plenty of silver um, I've got a gold and silver. I'm sure that I found a whole bunch of extra um, gold mines around the place. Because the only problem with this gold and silver mine is that it's right in the middle here. And I don't know if I really want to mine there because it's kind of like, yeah, it's right in the middle of that valley and I'll I'm liable to drive over it when I get the rover up and running and uh, yeah, end up sinking into the ground somewhat. So I think what I'll do quickly is I will just go and find another gold deposit. Well, I found some gold, um, but it's kind of in a spot where I would probably drive the rover. Um, although I suppose I could just drive it over this way. Um, I'm just going to do it, just send it, just drill down to this gold here, okay so we have finally reached the gold, um, a fair way down. So, and as you can see, right, I'm picking up a lot of stone, um, but I'm not actually picking up much gold. So, yeah, it's it's just, it's so hard to mine. You get no gold when you mine on the planet. Well, you, you do Inventory get gold, but you just don't full. get enough. Inventory full. So... The only problem is I've got to kind of get rid of all the waste stone. So look at that massive boulder. Inventory full. Yes. Right. Let's get some more gold. 
Alright, let's get back to base before I run out of power. Yeah, it's just a shame that I had all that other extra stuff in my inventory, otherwise I would have been able to mine a hell of a lot more. Back to the hangar. charges so much quicker. <laughs> Alright, let's do another trip for mine, uh, for a bit of iron. At least this one should be relatively easy to find. Well, you know what, I didn't actually mark the GPS for that um, gold deposit that I found just before. It's good to know that um, this ship can have at least one damaged thruster and still lift 80,000 kilos. I actually didn't know that it could do that. Um, just wish it wasn't so easy to damage things, but I guess it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't. Okay, now let's get back to building the O2H2 generator, um, which is this one, number six. back and I dare not go outside because it will strike me down. It's quite interesting though when you're underground and you can see these storms come through. So I'm kind of hoping that the antenna gets hit first and not me. Um, I have actually on Mars um, I had this base that was fully underground and it's still managed to strike me down from underground so yeah don't think that a hangar will save you from lightning not in this game um, I'll be looking for the gold refin refining here um, where's my gold 
old. Let's put that at the front. It's going to take a while. Speed module. Right now we got things cranking pretty good. Um, yeah, you see what I mean? So that block there just got destroyed by lightning. But we're underground, like way underground so yeah like I said don't count on you being underground to protect protect you from lightning so honestly whenever lightning's around I just don't even go near ships um, especially small grid ships man because they just get they can get taken out so easily easily from lightning um, so how are we looking for gold superconductors I can create here. I need to get some speed modules for this assembler as well because it's just building things way too slow. Well, apparently the temperature is inferno. Well, let's build a speed module for this I think I'm going to let all this stuff um, manufacture a bit here, um, and then I might go from there. I think maybe I'll try and build these yield modules first though. Uh, let's see if I can do that. There we go, I can build one. Can we build two? stuff. Can I withdraw five superconductors? That is a shame. Um, production. Inventory. Let's have a look for some gold. No, we're out of gold. So, yeah, there's going to be None of them for us. That's a bit of a shame, but oh well. Alright, well. This lightning is determined to get me. Better not hang around here too long either. Let's put this back in where it belongs. Let's put this one back in where it belongs as well. One thing I do like about this planet though is there's not as much lightning as what there was in no, Just as I say that I get struck by lightning. <laughs> this stuff is deadly. But I mean lightning doesn't happen as often this save is what it, what it did in my Mars save. Um, but yeah, it's really coming after me now, eh? So I'll be careful. Did I lose a block? Yeah, I lost a block just there. No, that's not good. Oh, I'm probably just going to chill in here for a little bit and wait for the lightning to pass and then uh, I can get back to business. Alright, well, it seems like the weather's finally stopped, so yeah. Um, I think while all this stuff is kind of refining, let me 
just check up on it here. Yeah, we've still got a fair bit going, so I might start doing some iron. So, while that's all going, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the welding ship. Um, so the welding ship that I'm going to build is this one here, so let's have a look for the Midas. Um, so yeah, we're going to build that. Um, obviously this is the workshop version. Um, and then from there, I'm also going to build the floor welding truck, which I call the Groundhog. So, so yeah, this, this is what I'm going to use basically to weld up this floor. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start building those. Um, so I think what I'm going to do first though is let's get rid of all this stuff. Um, let's build like a thousand of that, a thousand of that. Um, build a thousand of those. Uh, build a couple hundred of these. Um, I think I should have enough components to build all that stuff. Oh yeah, I need to create quite a few power cells. So build those as well. Um, Alright. Canvas, computers, construction components. What else do I need? I need a fair few metal grids. Um, probably need a fair few small steel tubes and a fair few large steel tubes as well. Alright. Well, I'll probably just let all of that build um, and then I'll be back once that's all done because I'm probably going to need a fair amount of components um, to build these two items. Oh, well, first, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll actually build the, um, I'll build the conveyor and the printer and all that stuff so I can actually print this stuff out. So let's with... All right. Turn my... What have I got in my inventory? Why have I got so much stuff in here? Alright, so let's get rid of one of these. Let's get rid of that. Where's the O2H2 now? Just refill my jetpack here. Um, that's really all I need in my inventory. So let's withdraw a conveyor junction. Let's withdraw a piston. Where's my piston? Number six. Um, let's withdraw a welder, um, probably another welder, and then let's withdraw the components for this rotor, um, make it two of them. Okay, so now what I'm probably going to do is, um, actually no, I need, I need another conveyor junction. So. Let's, um, where can I build this? I'll probably just build it here for now. That should be okay. Yep, that'll do. Uh, let's build these two up. Okay, let's build the piston. Let's just build it there. Then on that, I want to build my welder. welder and then let's weld this piston up I'll weld up this and I'll weld up this awesome all right so now I can actually withdraw components from here so I probably don't need to build anymore all right so let's fully extend this Minimum distance, I'll reverse it. Uh, and then, basically, we want to build another two welders on either side of this. So, let's do that. Okay, let's put that on the build planner. Let's draw the components. that up. Awesome. Alright, cool. So now what I'm going to do is build a rotor. So you might have seen me do this in another episode where I actually built a... Um, uh, I showed people how to build basically 
exactly this, like, you know, a, um, a small ship printer. And this is just going to be a temporary kind of a deal. Um, I need some motors. Let's grind that down. And let's go into the control panel. Search for a rotor. Add a small head. Weld up the small head. Now, let's build a couple of small blocks on that. So, let's put a block there, a block there. On the other side, I'm going to put like a small grid projector because we're building a small grid ship. Um, so, that right there is the front. That's the top, place it there, build that, add it to the build planner. Right, now, let's project the, um, so projector, so I'll just name that small projector, um, let's find our welders. Put them all into a group. Save that. Let's find our piston. Um, rename that to the world piston. Okay, now, um, I think what I'll do is I'll just build like a I have a platform here so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. Let's build a platform like that. Um, Alright, so what I can do now is I can go into my inventory, I can go to remote access, and I can connect to my static grid here. And that'll connect me to this base because I've got an antenna attached to the base. Um, and then that's going to make it a little bit easier to. Um, configure this small projector here. So let's choose blueprints. Let's choose our mining ship or our welder. So Midas weld ship. Let's project that. Um, oh yeah, it's looking... Yeah, it's probably a little bit higher, so... Let's see if I can't go back into the control panel here. Terminal, small projector, let's um, put the vertical offset, let's make it a bit higher. How's that? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, I might go down one more block actually. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Remote access, terminal. Projector, vertical, negative, one, horizontal, I'll move it over a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then, yeah, so. Alright, cool. So now what I can do, uh, now that that one block there is welded up, I can grind down this seat. And I'll place it here just so I can see what I'm doing. Turn my lights on so we can see a little bit better in here. Um, let's put a flight seat in. I might just put it here just so it's a little bit better. Alright, so let's set up our hotbar now. Let's go into the G menu. Um, let's go to groups. Um, toggle the welders on and off. The piston, I will put decrease minimum distance. Um, and then I will go into the control panel, find my piston. Um, and you can see that I've set the minimum and maximum distance to. Um, 
you know, 10 meters. So when I hit reverse, it's not going to go anywhere because the minimum distance is set to 10. And then when I hit number two, it's going to move back one. So I'll turn the welders on. As you can see, it's going to start welding all the stuff up. Hopefully I have enough components here. So I need small steel tubes. Alright, let's make sure they're built. So I think what I'll do is I'll just wait for um, all these components to be built before I actually start trying to fully weld this thing up. Well, actually, it looks like I actually don't have enough cobalt to get this thing done because um, I need a whole heap of metal grids to build all these, um, these atmospheric thrusters here. So, yeah, there is that. So I think what I'm going to do is just go and quickly mine all that stuff. So let's jump in our mining ship here. Let's unlock her. Right, so let's go for a bit of a trek. Um, looks like the sun is going down soon as well, so it's probably a good thing that we go out and get this stuff now rather than later. So I'm going to go for this cobalt deposit over here. Turn my front thrusters off. down do I need to go? Another 40 meters. Oh, well. All right, well, it looks like I finally reached the cobalt. Um, the only problem is I kind of dug my mine really poorly, so let's just see if I can't get an outside view here, thank you, thank you, thank you, let's go upwards a bit, let's try and drill this out a little bit, alright, well, I've dug it out fairly extensively, so now let's do some mining, um, alright, let's see if I can't get to the to the side of this deposit here. Oh, that's a little bit better. Now let's do some mining. Alright, well, I'm absolutely chock a block full of cobalt. So let's take this back to base um, and then we'll refine all this and then I'll probably come back out one more time and I'll grab a whole bunch of silicon as well. So let's head on back to base. Alright, let's drop off the old cobalt and we'll head back out again and grab ourselves a bit of silicon. Um, I was going to say, I'm not sure why my lights on the bottom aren't working, but they are. Just. Uh, Taking a little while. Right, let's lock down. Let's grab all of this and put it into the refinery. Alright, cool. That's all good. Alright, so let's disconnect and let's head back out and let's go grab some silicon. Jump back into the cockpit here. Head back out into the weather. Now, if there's a lightning storm, I probably recommend you don't even bother trying to do mining. Um, unless you have like a spare ship or if you are going to do some mining and uh, when there's lightning just grab, you know, a couple of spare components just so that like, you know, if, if your ship does get struck by lightning, it doesn't damage your cockpit and um, cause I've had that happen a few times, it's like damaged my cockpit. I'm not sure why there are so many hunchback dropships around here, I might have to like get rid of them I think there's an error here like I think they're just like 
I don't know, I don't think they can handle the gravity of this planet or something like that because they seem to like either move really slowly or just get stuck. So I might have to get rid of those. find our mine here. Uh, here we go. Here it is. Oh, let's descend into the depths. And let's get ourselves a bit of silicon. Got plenty of nickel. Um, so all I need now is just silicon. Alright, so just kind of dug this out a little bit just so I can access the silicon a bit easier. Um, just flatten this little bit off a bit. some of this and then we'll head on back to base again. Alright, well I've mined a whole bunch of silicon so I think that'll do us for now. Um, so let's take all this back to base and chuck it in the refinery and that should give us plenty of silicon for the foreseeable future. I know I've said that a couple of times in this episode but this time hopefully I mean it. So let's try and get out of this hole without bumping into anything. Success. Alright, let's head on back to base. Alright. Awesome. This music sounds a little bit like Stargate. Um, it's very difficult to hear it. But yeah, it sounds like Stargate. Oh, cool. We are locked down. Alright, so let's just um, have a look at what's going on here in the refinery. So, let's see how much components I've got. So I think I'm going to go and make a whole bunch more motors. Probably about a thousand, about a thousand construction components, and about a thousand small steel tubes. I think I'm going to need all of that to be built. Um, let me just consolidate all of my ores here and see what I've got. Well, it looks like I've got a fair bit of everything. Um, probably got enough. Yeah, I've got plenty of silicon now. Cobalt is still going, so I might just um, refine some silicon now instead of the cobalt. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this as well, but something I've noticed, and that's the fact that cobalt takes a very long time to refine. It's a bit like, um, it's not unlike platinum, to be honest. Platinum takes a fair while as well. Alright, cool. So I think I've got enough. Um, one thing I'm going to do quickly before I get started on this project is I'm going to build another speed module. Cool. Alright, now the assembler should run at full speed and we should actually be able to build everything that we need relatively quickly. Um, I've got 1200 computers, I think that should be enough. Um, yeah, so... Alright, well... I'm going to let all this stuff build um, and then I'm going to be back once it is all built and then we can continue printing the ship finally. Alright guys, so all these components have now been made um, and so a couple of things that I did while I was gone, so obviously you can see that I now have two refineries. Um, so yeah, while all those components were being built I thought mm, why not, you know, I'll just make another refinery, it will make it um, a little bit easier. Um, also went and done a little bit of cheeky mining and got a little bit more gold so that I could finish all of these yield modules off. So yeah, you can see I have two fully upgraded refineries now. Um, and if we have a look in the large cargo container, you can see that I have just a whole heap of resources. So I think this should be enough to basically build the ship that we need. Um, yeah, I think that should be plenty. Um, should be plenty. So yeah, well let's 
go ahead and let's get started. All right, let's jump in this. Um, now, have I reversed this? Yes, I have. So as I said before, like I basically set this to reverse so that you know it goes back and then keeps printing layers of this thing. So yeah, we'll just jump out and make sure it's progressing pretty well, which it is. Go back again. So just continue this process on until we've printed the whole thing. And then um, yeah, from there we'll cut it off and uh, yeah. Just jump out quickly and just have a look and make sure everything is being built. Yeah, that all looks good. Everything under here looks good. Um, our antennas manufactured as well. Um, yeah, it all looks pretty good. Um, all these, yeah, no, cool. Well, let's continue on then. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this really beats um, building a ship by hand. So obviously once this thing's complete, what I'm going to do next is build the um, the floor welding truck that I showed you guys before. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm going to use this ship here to do like, you know, kind of like the pillars um, and the walls and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then from there, obviously, I'm going to use the floor welding truck to, you know, weld the floor. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Um, but yeah, so let me just double check that everything here is being printed properly. Awesome. It's looking pretty good. So we've got our batteries there. Well, we're almost done with the ship. So that was the cockpit that just got built there. We'll pull it back one more and then now the welders should start getting welded up. Cool. And that's everything welded up. So let's just have a look at this projector here. Um, small projector. Blocks remaining. Armor blocks three. So that means that everything is built because the things that aren't built is these three blocks on the back here. So let me just quickly jump into the cockpit of this. And yeah, so all the thrusters are on. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just exit out of the cockpit and I will release it from that. Just remove that um, projector there. Awesome, all right, so then what I'll do is I will grab the components for another large grid connector and I will place it here and then I'm just basically going to park up the ship here and then yeah I'll let it get some charge um, and then from there we can start loading some steel plates in it and then start welding up the walls so let's go and park this beast uh, let's turn on the lights a bit here So, I think one day what I want to do is kind of update the this blueprint for this ship and try and put some um, of those new thrusters that they put in the game, the um, sci-fi ones. But I suppose it's kind of a good thing that it doesn't have those thrusters on it because, um, yeah, it, it kind of makes it so that other people can use it and they don't need to have those blocks unlocked. All right, so let's just jump back into the control seat here. Let's turn that off. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build another little projector. So I'll build that. Then I will build um, another small projector here. Where are we? So build it like that. That's the correct orientation there. Let's withdraw the components for that bad boy. We shall weld her up. Now let's go remote access, terminal, look for our projector, select blueprints, search for the groundhog. Okay. Um, 
and then as you can see it is kind of what I might do is so let's go into the terminal here remote access terminal projector let's move this a little bit so let's move this back by about two blocks um, let's offset it by about two and let's see how that's looking um, I think I only really need to offset it by about one so do that again so horizontal offset negative one All right now it should be in the middle okay so now what I'm going to do is build a block here build another block there awesome and then what I'll do is I'll move the welders all the way up let's turn the welders on let's just hope that I have enough materials for this alright now let's grind this down um, Probably should have built it one block further out. Alright, well let's see how this goes. Oh yeah. Like a glove. Um, let's fully retract this piston. And let's see if I can't do a 10,000 point Austin Powers turn to get out of here. Um, whoa, whoa. expecting it to go that fast. Alright, let's just grind all this stuff down. Just drive it out straight. Place that back. Awesome. Alright, so that's the floor welding truck built. Um, let's lock this down. P for the handbrake, even though I said never press P, but in that case it's a little bit different. Alright, cool. So now we've got all of our welding stuff built. Um, I think I might just get rid of this printer, or maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll use it to, um, maybe what I can do is print a fighter. Um, I do have a design there for a fighter as well, so maybe I'll print one of those and then we can go after some of these ships. Alright guys, well that's probably going to be it for this episode. Um, so yeah, um, obviously we've got all of our stuff built, so we can go ahead and start welding up all the stuff in the hangar. Um, so yeah, in the next episode I guess that is what we are going to do. Um, I'm basically going to start welding up all this stuff. Um, and then from there, what I'll probably do as well is I'll start making um, some inroads onto the other rooms in the base. Um, I'll actually create like a proper room for like the refineries and the cargo containers and all that sort of stuff so yeah I'll probably have to create some sort of a network of um, conveyors underneath the floors um, that's usually how I like to do it just so that they're all hidden and that sort of stuff um, and then maybe if we have time in the next episode I will make a start on building the nomad as well so I'm not sure if I will use a um, like either one of like this welding ship here or if I'll use something like a printer to actually print that off. Anyway guys, thanks very much for joining me on episode 4 of Wasteland Survival. I hope to see you in episode 5. Um, if you did like this episode, consider giving me a like and uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more. Alright, thanks guys and I'll see you next time.